Hello class, and good afternoon. For my art project, I chose a still from Spirited Away. Spirited Away is a Japanese animated film written and directed by Hayao Miyazaki. It was released in July of 2001 in Japan and shortly after in America in 2002, after Miyazaki partnered up with Walt Disney Pictures for the American release. This Japanese uh, animated film is considered an anime. Anime is a style of Japanese film or television series. In America today, we have countless of animes with different genres, animation styles, and shows for all ages. But America didn't always have the surplus of anime. According to an academic journal by Andrew McEvitt, he states that anime was first premiered in America in 1983 at the World Science Fiction Convention in Baltimore. At the convention, thousands of people waited till 1 a.m. to watch a Japanese animated film called Space Battleship Yamato, The Final Chapter. On the day of the premiere, due to a, a last minute mistake by the Japanese sponsor, they had sent the wrong film. Instead, the producer had sent a different film called Farewell Space Battleship Yamato, In the Name of Love. Even though the film was changed and the subtitles had not been provided, the audience stayed and watched the movie. Even though they didn't understand the dialogue of the film, they understood that they were participating in something bigger. The audience stayed because they wanted to watch something new and different. Anime was that something different. After the premiere, anime had left thousands in Baltimore and thousands more across the US with a new channel of entertainment. Hayao Miyazaki is a film director, writer, producer, and co-founder of Studio Ghibli. Miyazaki was born in Tokyo in 1941. At a young age, Miyazaki had an interest in manga and animation, and joined the animation world in 1963 when he joined Toei Animation. When Miyazaki makes a movie, he is heavily involved in the drawing and animating aspect of it. The major difference between Miyazaki's style of animating versus the animating styles used today is how Miyazaki uses the elements of art when he draws his animation. While today's animators focus more on making the work three-dimensional and higher resolution. Throughout the film, Miyazaki uses countless of elements of art. There are many scenes in the film that are symmetrical and balanced. An example of this is the scene of the tunnel before and after the exit. Another example of this symmetrical balance is in the scene where our main character, Shihiro, is standing in front of a gate with pigs on the other side. Miyazaki also used organic lines when first creating the characters. Here we see how he used them to create Shihiro and the dragon Haku. We also see Miyazaki use these organic lines to portray how the character feels. An example of this is the scene where Shihiro and Yubaba, the owner of the bathhouse, are about to greet a stink spirit into the bathhouse. Miyazaki uses organic lines in Shihiro's hair and how it stands up to show disgust. We also see this in Yubawa's face as she tenses. Miyazaki also uses linear perspective in many scenes throughout the film. We see this in front of the bathhouse and the bridge. Another example of this is when Shihiro and another spirit are traveling on the train. Miyazaki uses countless of other elements of art throughout the film, and finding these elements is just another reason to enjoy the film. In the film, we are first introduced to our main protagonist, Shihiro. Shihiro is a 10-year-old girl with a spoiled attitude, and she is upset because she had to move to a new house due to her father's job. On the way to the new house, Shihiro's father makes a wrong turn, and they stumble upon what looks like a tunnel that led to an abandoned theme park. Shihiro's parents, following the enticing smell of food, explore further into this theme park. They find a stand with made food and Shihiro's parents dug right in, claiming they can play later. Shihiro then finds out she is trapped in the spirit world and her parents had turned into pigs. Being trapped in the spirit world, Shihiro has to beg Yubaba for her job at the bathhouse, and after hesitation, Yubaba agrees, and in return, she steals Shihiro's name when Shihiro signs a contract to work for her. Shihiro then has to find a way to get her parents back to normal and escape the spirit world. 
Along her adventure, she encounters some hardships and also gains some friends along the way. Throughout the film, Miyazaki shows many symbols and characters from Japanese folklore and the Shinto religion. We first see this in the title of the film. While in the American version, the title is Spirited Away, but in the Japanese version, the title is Sensei Shihiro no Kamikakushi. Now we break that down, the beginning is referring to our main character, Shihiro, that later becomes Sen, after Yubaba steals her name in the contract. Now for the second half, Kamakakushi, which roughly translate to Hidden by Kami, which are Japanese deities. Kamikakushi is a Japanese folklore and is used when a woman or child goes missing. Usually their communities would say they had met Kamikakushi, and when people meet Kamikakushi, they are presumed to be in the spirit world. We can also see a reference to Japanese folklore in Yobaba's character. Yobaba in the film is a nasty witch that owns and runs the bathhouse, and is the main antagonist in the film. Yubaba has a rich history and has many tales in Japanese customs. She is closely related to a Yamaba. A Yamaba is a mountain dwelling witch that devours anyone who would cross her path. Yamaba are usually portrayed as nasty and unflattering, but one trait that often goes overlooked is her motherly care and nurture. In Japanese belief, this mountain deity gives birth to 12 children every year. The 12 children she had symbolized the 12 months in a year. We can relate this back to Yababa in Spirit Away, but how Yababa is very strict and bossy with her employees, yet with her son, Bo, she is the most kindest and sweetest mother and protects him at all costs. The next character we will focus in on is Kamaji, the Boiler Man. Kamaji at first can appear scary and frightening, but overall is a very kind man that assists your hero in her adventure. Kamaji is a spider-like being with six arms and two human legs. In the Japanese culture, spiders are usually seen as an emblem or symbol of industry. This connects with how Kamaji is as a, as a worker and how he uses all six of his limbs to be very efficient and supply the whole bathhouse with their water. An example of how Miyazaki includes the Shinto religion in the film is in the scene where the family passes little homes on the side of the street. When Shihiro asked what they were, Shihiro's mother explained that they are houses for the spirits. These little houses are called Hokura, which are Shinto shrines and in the Shinto religion believe that spirits live in them and protect them from evil spirits. One detail I noticed upon further research is that the shrines aren't usually bunched up with so many like in the film, but are usually more isolated. Some would say the surplus of shrines, like the ones we saw in the film, may indicate an area of high spiritual activity, like we see in the bathhouse later on in the film. Overall, the film has made a huge impact not just in the animating world, but in the aspect that even in our evolving world and our evolving technology, there is still a way to incorporate traditional folklore in today's media. This is a coming-to-age film where the protagonist started off as a whiny little girl, but after her adventure and obstacles, she has become a more mature, assertive, and determined girl ready for anything. My challenge question to you is, do you think traditional folklore can continue to strive in our media today? After watching the film and reflecting on how Shihiro's character had grown throughout the film, I decided on composing an art piece that focuses on how I have grown as a person and how I am still growing every day. For my art piece, I chose to take a photo of my window frame with a couple of objects and all these items come with some sort of meaning. Starting on the left is my plant. The plant is supposed to remind me of my roots and like the plant that is growing and evolving every day just as I am, it is still always connected to its roots. This relates back to the Shinto religion because they believe that everything, including us humans, should be harmonized and united with nature. In the middle, we have an uncompleted Rubik's Cube. The partially completed Rubik's Cube represents the obstacles and difficulties that I had encountered and I will encounter in the future. 
and maybe from some of these obstacles, I can learn something, just like Shihiro did throughout her adventure. Finally on the right, we have a stethoscope and a badge. These show my motivation and my goals for the dreams I have on becoming a paramedic. In the film, we also see Shihiro's motivation, which is to save her parents and get them back from being pigs. Thank you for watching my film.